Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at how you can record a presentation in Canva and how you can download the finished recorded presentation as an MP4 file. And just before you say that this can't be done in Canva, I'm going to agree with you. It can't be done in Canva, but I have a really good solution and a fairly easy to implement solution for you. So the new process in Canva allows you to record a presentation with timings and your audio, as well as a small video of your face in the recording. The issue with that is that the only way that you can replay it is by clicking a link. And so it has to be done through a browser. You have to be connected to the internet to do it. And it's not downloadable. So you can't get, for example, an MP4 of it. I'm going to show you a workaround that's going to give you all the things that you want except for the little face and I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not really convinced that I want my face on my presentations anyway. So if you're happy to forego that, this is your solution. We're going to start with a design. So I'm going to create a presentation. I'm just going to choose a template. I'm not actually going to do this right now. I'm just going to apply all the 10 pages of the presentation here. So we have a 10 page presentation. And obviously, if this was you, you would go ahead and make the edits that you needed and get the presentation all ready to be made. So as soon as you've done that, you can go ahead and do the presentation. So what you do is you go to this three set of dots up here. You choose present and record and you click here to go to the recording studio. You're going to need to give Canva access to your microphone and your camera. So it needs both. It can't operate on just the microphone. It insists on having the camera, but we're not going to use that camera option or the camera data later on anyway. So you're just going to be discarding that and you're going to click start recording. But before you do that, what we want to do is actually trap the audio in a different way because we're going to need it in a minute. So what I suggest you do is use an application called online voice recorder and here, all you need to do is just click this button to start recording. So you're going to click this button, then you're going back to Canva, you're going to click the start recording on Canva, and you're going to speak to your presentation. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Click here to start this, go to Canva, start recording, make my presentation. So today's presentation is about meal prep hacks. These are the hacks. Talk with your family. As soon as I'm done, I'm clicking on end recording and what Canva's going to do is it's going to upload my recording. But of course, we're still recording over here on the online voice recorder. Now you may also have noticed that I made a mistake in my recording. If that were the case and I wanted to remove it, I would need to go back and start all over again. Bit of a problem, but that's the way it works. So let's go here now and stop the recording. So this is my recording. What I'm going to do is start cutting it off because there was some empty recording time at the beginning when I got the online voice recorder starting to record, but I hadn't yet started my presentation. So I've just cropped this in and you can click here to just make sure that it's working OK. So today's presentation. OK, so that's the beginning of my presentation. I think my presentation probably ends about here. So let's just test it. OK, so that's the effective end of my presentation. And this is just me chatting to you before I stopped the recording. So let's just dial that back. OK, so we're able to trim this audio, trim off anything at the beginning we don't want, trim off anything at the end that we don't want. And you will want to do that. It's much easier to do that here in the online voice recorder. And so just go and click Save when you're done. And that audio is going to be saved to your computer. So back here in Canva, what we've got is we've got the recording that we made in Canva, but it can't be downloaded as an MP4. And we've got the audio trapped separately. I'm going to click copy link and I'm going here and I'm going to play it. So assuming that I hadn't made any mistakes, and I was really happy with everything. This is what Canva has given me. So today's presentation. 
So it's given me my presentation with my audio, with the video which we're going to forego. And what we really want from this is the timing. So this is the timing for each of the slides. Every one of these is a change to a different slide. So I'm gonna click on the first one and it tells me that that first slide was on the screen for four seconds. Well, we're going back into Canva. I'm just gonna click save and exit because I actually want to keep that recording in case I need to access it again. So let's go back into this file and we're gonna change the timing on this side to four seconds. Now, how you do that is going to depend on what's on the slide. Now, this slide happens to have an animation that's running at seven seconds and so that's causing the slide to be on the screen for seven seconds. In this case, we have to edit the animation. So we have to wind this back to four seconds. So this slide is now on the screen for four seconds. That won't be the case with all these slides. They might have timings applied a different way. So let's go to the next piece. So we started at four seconds, that was the first slide. The second slide ends at eight seconds. Eight minus four is four. So this tells me that this slide number two was on the screen for four seconds too. So we'll go to slide two, click on it, and we're gonna change this to four seconds. This is a different timing on this slide. It's a different process because it doesn't have one of those animations on it. It's got an animation, but not a timed animation. So the timing on this slide has been controlled by this icon here. Let's have a look at this slide. You'll need to work out what you click on to be able to get access to the timing. There will be a timing element there somewhere. You just need to find it. This is slide three. Let's have a look at what we got from Canva. This was the last slide that we had, was at eight seconds. The next one finishes at 12. 12 minus eight is four. This next slide needs to be on for four seconds. So we're just going to change that to four. You can just type in 4.0. And you're going to go through all of these slides and calculate the distance between the last slide and this slide. So that's 12 seconds and 17 seconds, the difference is five seconds. So this slide needs to be on the screen for five seconds. This one's got a timed animation on it. So we're going to need to change the animation timing to five seconds. So different option on this slide for adjusting your timing. This was 17. This next one is 21. So it's four second timing for this slide. 21 to 28 is seven seconds. 28 to 32 is four seconds. 32 to 36, another four seconds. 36 to 39 puts this one on the screen for just three seconds. And whatever is left is for the last slide. So it looks like it's going to be 44 seconds. So from 39 to 44 is five seconds. So this has got an animation on it as well. So we need to pick up the animation and just change its timing. You can select which portion of the animation you want here. I'm just working on the timings alone, but you could choose a portion of the animation if there was a portion that you particularly wanted. So right now what we've done is we've timed our slide presentation to match our audio. We've used the audio that Canva gave us to work out what the timing was, but we don't need that any longer. So we're actually going to discard that. What we want to do now is to bring in the audio that we got from the online voice recorder. So I'm going back to slide one. This is the audio that we got, the most recent, I think this is the right one, though maybe it's this one. Let's just go to show in finder. I want the most recent recording. So this is the one here. I'm going to Uploads, I'm going to Upload Media and Device, and I'm going to upload the voice recording that I just made, which is this one made at 3.03 this afternoon. As soon as the recording has been added, what you're going to do is just drag and drop it onto page one. Now, the way that audio works in Canva is that an audio track, an MP3, is going to play across the entire presentation. So the timings are going to be adhered to and the audio is going to play 
all the way through the presentation. So at this stage, because we've already set up our timings, everything should be pretty much okay. So I'm going to the downloads here and we're going to download this as an MP4 video because this time it's going to have the sound in it, it's going to have the timings all preset and we can save it as an MP4 file that we can then upload or do anything we want to do with it. We don't have to be connected to the internet and we don't have to be using Canva's link to make that presentation. So now we've been able to download the completed presentation. Let's open it and play it. Okay, in playing this, I've just discovered that the last slide isn't playing for long enough. So I would go back into Canva and just make the last slide play a little bit longer. You may find that your slide timings are a little bit out. And the reason for this will be that we were working in whole seconds. So we were using entire seconds 5.0 or 4.0 and in actual fact the slide transition might be slightly different to that so you may need to adjust things marginally but remember that the first slide that you adjust is going to impact the timing on all the other slides so just perhaps alter one and then just check and make sure it's playing okay so i've just increased the timing on this last slide i would go back and download it again but this is a really good way of getting an MP4 file out of Canva with the presentation and your audio, things that you cannot do natively inside Canva. I hope this video has been of help to you. I hope that you have learned things about Canva of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.